For so long, the pension system in Uganda has been mad in problems such as late receiving of the money, ghost pensioners and some pensioners totally failing to receive their pension money, which government has totally failed to address. While appearing before the Committee of Public Service, the Minister in Charge of Public Service, Honorable Murodi Mkasa, has assured the country that issues surrounding pension scheme will be history with this new bill in place. Now, this bill is very, very important and crucial uh, for the public servant in that it is going to uh, bring about a transformation, a revolution from the current arrangement, which is pay-go. In other words, government puts aside money to pay the civil servants. If it has the money, it pays them. If it doesn't have, they, they are told to wait, you see. But over, eventually, actually, they will pay but uh, maybe over a long time and after a lot of frustration. Now this one we are proposing is a defined benefit. In other words, the government has an obligation to pay every month a certain amount of money. In fact, it's about 10% uh, or so. Uh, and then the worker also pays a certain amount of money, maybe 5%. Now this money is given put into a fund which is managed professionally. Uh, the fund is also given uh, 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 some uh, opportunity of investing this money so that there is more money created and uh, that means that there is a bigger benefit for the pensioner. That's one. The other one is that um, over time, uh, the government worries for pension will reduce in that this fund will eventually grow and become virtually self-sustaining. According to the minister, the bill also addresses the issue of mid-term access for pensioners, just like what NSSF is doing currently. Until you retire, you start uh, enjoying your pension benefits. And we're also trying to see in the law whether it is, would be, can be possible to access a part of these uh, pension savings, mid-term or something. When asked about the issue of disparity in salaries of public servants, Honorable Muroli says it is impossible for all people to get the same salary depending on their different job descriptions. The minister adds that government started increasing salaries of teachers in 2018-2019 and it's still an ongoing process depending on the availability of the funds. I think sometimes uh, people take it literally that uh, we want to, everybody should be earning the same salary. This is not uh, possible. Why? Because the jobs that people perform require different skills and there are different risks involved in them. Now, all these have to be taken into account in the remuneration. So there will be differences. However, um, in 2018-19, we worked on the pay policy. And we agreed that there should be uh, a compression ratio from the lowest to the highest. And that was accepted by cabinet and we even, uh, I think, uh, mentioned it here in parliament. Now, we are working upon that. We have not changed it. But what appears now to be disparity is that the way we chose to pay the public servants in phases and the way we selected certain uh, cadres to be paid first and also paid up to some of them up to the minimum at the maximum others almost three quarters so that's what uh, brings a disparity so but we're saying that um, overall when the money is available everybody will get the pay that is commensurate with what he's doing.